The story of the disability arts movement is an important example of how art and culture can be powerful in contributing to social change. Part of the remit of the National Disability Arts Collection and Archive is to gather and document the stories and history of the movement's greatest successes. At the less obvious end of the scale, the Ndaka's audio collection is largely deposited by songwriters and musicians whose music was the soundtrack to countless demonstrations and protest events, demanding equal rights for disabled people. The Ndaka also highlights individuals like Elspeth Morrison, a freelance writer, theatre director and author of the Independent Theatre Council's book on theatre practice and disability. She produced and contributed to several publications and conferences, discussing the removal of barriers for disabled people to the arts. Elspeth was an editor of the long-running Disability Arts in London magazine. Now out of print, the Ndaka has a full collection of issues, which offers a valuable insight into the story of the disability arts movement and the progress it made over the last three decades. Inside the archive, you will find stories of artistic activism, like the performance piece Shaken Not Stirred by Tony Heaton, performed as part of the 1992 block telethon protest. A pyramid of over 1,000 collected cans was destroyed to emphasise the needs for social rights rather than just charity. Another campaign documented is the Campaign for Accessible Transport. Within the Endaka are newspaper articles and first-hand stories, describing how disabled activists and artists block streets across the country in a protest against inaccessible buses and trains. Throughout the disability arts movement, events and conferences have been held that talked about the need to remove barriers to the arts. It also extended into education, with the groundbreaking 1990 book Disability Equality in the Classroom. One huge achievement was the contribution that the disability arts movement made towards the 1995 Disability Discrimination Act. This act put into law the right for disabled people to sue for discrimination and made employers and service providers liable for failing to provide reasonable adjustments for disabled employees. A lot has happened since the disability arts movement began in the late 1970s, by documenting its story, the Ndaka hopes to inspire and inform the next generation of artists and activists on this ongoing journey. A journey towards a more equal society, a more accessible society, with independence and opportunity for all. A society that enables rather than disables people, allowing everyone to achieve their full potential.